everyone welcome back to the channel today i am going to walk you through how to edit videos using filmora from downloading it to understanding the interface all the way down to making your very first edited video if you're someone who's been wanting to learn how to edit their own videos you are in the right place let's dive right in first things first to get filmora you have to go to filmora.wondershare.com now, Filmora offers a free trial version, but it would leave a watermark when you export your videos. And sometimes, or most times, we don't actually want that. If you want the full version of Filmora without the watermarks, they have like two to three options that you can choose from, but you have two main options. You can either pay for a yearly subscription or you can pay for a monthly subscription so if you don't want watermarks on your videos they have the yearly subscription or monthly subscription and also the prices vary depending on your location and any sales they have running but typically it's pretty affordable compared to that editing softwares now once you download and install it you are basically ready to get started with using filmora once you click on download it tells you where you can find it and how to install i've already downloaded filmora so i'm just going to go right into it welcome to the filmora screen and this is your interface once you've downloaded the filmora so i'm going to walk you through it at the very top here you are going to notice a few key section this is the media library section this particular part is the media library section where all your imported files would live in these are most of the features you will be interacting with and using when you're editing filmora and this is going to be your preview window when you import your media this shows what your video is going to look like this is your timeline now this is where you would build your video this is where you will drag your imported media and create and edit your video this part here is the toolbar this is where tools like split delete undo redo and more lives so this is your toolbar and this is your project info where you get to see things like size frame rate and everything and it changes based on what feature or what you're doing currently it looks very simple but it is a very powerful setup now let's import some clips and do a basic edit once you click on import here it's going to bring you into your media library and i already sent a video that i'm going to use for this and it's pretty easy if your video is not too heavy no matter how heavy your video is because my video is 3k it's going to just bring it and it's a five minute long video so it just it's pretty easy to like come in and everything once you have selected your videos you would see it appear in the media library from here you can drag you can click on the video to watch a preview for it so if i want to select from a particular part of my video i'm just going to use this and that's the part i am going to select when i want to like bring into my timeline i don't want to like if you want just a particular part of your video if that's the part that you want then when i've selected that part i just drag it and match it to media i always like to match to media if i don't want like the full video in my timeline and you can see here from a five minute video i selected just a particular portion of it and now i only have a one minute 26 seconds video so you can do that when it comes to like editing your clips now i'm going to be talking about the split option one thing i really really love about filmora is the access to split now this is your play overhead you can move this from one point to the other on your timeline you can move this and with this i can split videos you see if i put it at any point the caesar sign appears and once i click on it you can either click on it there or you can click on it here but i feel like it's easier for you to click on it here so once you click on it it just splits your video as you can see i have three different splits i'm just going to come here again and i'm just gonna split the next thing i want you to know about is deleting your videos now deleting videos is pretty easy 
I want to delete this particular section. So all I have to do is select in it. Make sure that this circle or this selection shows and then go to delete and delete. Like I said, your project timeline would differ based on what it is that you're doing. It's also pretty easy to like delete your videos. Just click the delete button on your keyboard and just delete it. You don't have to like keep on going to that particular function every single time. I use a MacBook, by the way, so you can just click on delete and then it deletes. The next thing I want to talk about is moving clips. So I'm going to import another media so I can show you exactly how moving clips works. So I'm going to bring in, I think this one, bring in that one. And then I'm going to just trim a particular part of this video so I can show you guys how it works. And then from here, drag it to this part and just match it to media. And you can see it's still quite long. So I'm going to like split it because I just want a certain portion and then delete this part. And then let me split this one again so I can show you guys how it works and then delete this. Now I can move this to this to the beginning of my video. And then I can come here again. Let me split it and then I can move it. It's very easy to just move from one section to the other on your timeline. I feel like I've come to love editing more on my desktop because Filmora makes it easy to like move clips from one point to the other. Yeah, you can just dr click, drag and drop them wherever you want on the timeline. One way I love editing faster is to look at where the audios are. Can you see the audios? There's no audio here. So if I want to trim, I know basically, maybe I'm trying to read my script at this point. I just bring in the play overhead and then I will click on it. And then I'm able to delete that. Come to this part again and bring in my play overhead, move it to the next point where there is no sound, where does there's no like wave sound and then delete it also. It just makes editing easier for you. Now, up here is your preview radio window. And as you edit, this shows you exactly what you would see. Right now, I have a 12 minute footage and you can always press the play button to watch your edits in real time. So that's why I really, really love the play preview video. And if anything looks off, you can always go back and rearrange your clips or tweak it as you need. Now, let's go to the fun part, which is adding effects to your videos. There are a lot of video effects. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. So for example, let me go to, let me move my play overhead to the beginning of my video. We have the RGB stroke. If you see, can you see on my video, the RGB stroke has been applied or maybe I want to do a square blur. If I click on the square blur, it will take a while to load, but you can see the blurry part is already applied to it. You can always like play around with some of the effects that you want. There are a lot of effects to choose from. Maybe the shake video. Maybe I want my videos to shake. What, depending on your internet speed, you can see it's going to apply to your video. It's very easy to like apply the effects to your video. So there's so many to look out for. There's the video effects, there's the body effect. There's also audio effects. So you see all those sound effects that we use or you hear people use in their videos. There are a lot of them that exist on Filmora. There's also called the Boris effects that you can try out pause, image, styles, blur. There are so many that you can try out, but you need to download it. Now, the next one I'm going to talk about is overlays. Now, it's very easy to overlay video. You see people talking about something and then they bring in a new video and they, it goes back to them talking about it again. And it is kind of seamless and flawless. It's very easy to do. Now, I'm going to come to my media and I'm going to overlay this other video on top of my video. What I'm going to do is drag it and add it on top of it. That's it. You can bring in your overlaid clip and you can also edit your overlaid clip accordingly. If I just want my overlay to show from this point to let's say this point, I'm just going to cut it here based on it's my overlay and then delete this other part. And then you can see from when I play this video from me talking.
let's go back to the very beginning. So I play my video, me talking again. So I think that was quite short. So I'm going to move this so you can get to see the full effect. So me playing my video, me talking, and then me overlaid and me back to talking again. That's how you overlay clips. So you can tweak your overlay clips and if you want to, and you can also edit them based on that. I'm also going to talk about adding filters. Now, I shoot in D-Log most times. So shooting in D-Log is like shooting in where it is devoid of color because you want to like do a lot of more cinematic editing and everything. There are a lot of filters that you can use within Filmora. So we have the basic ones and there are a lot of featured filters that they're going to like suggest to you. You can play around with it and find out which one works for your video. I'm going to try to apply the cool film filter to it and you see it gives a more cinematic vibe to my video or maybe let's try the Harry Potter one because I'm an Harry Potter fan and it gives it the Harry Potter vibe so you can always like play around with it and when you click on it you can find similar ones that you want that are relating to that particular filter so you don't have to keep searching. Filmora has a whole ton of assets like Media Library they have close to 2.3 million which is insane yeah you want to make sure that you play around with it another thing I always do is so maybe from your overlay video you want to mute the sound I always mute sounds of my overlay video sometimes you just come here and then you mute it you can get to see this is video one you can name it this is video two you can name it I just love how effective and how easy to navigate the timeline is it's just pretty pretty easy to navigate now the next thing i want to talk about is detach audio most times you want to like detach your audio so that you can do more editing with your audio and everything i'm going to click on this one and then depending on the laptop you're doing you're going to left right click and then this pop-up is going to come out with so much that you can do so you can either do the ai object removal you can either mute ai vocal removal ai translation speech to text it is the detach audio I am after. So I am going to click on detach audio. And once you do that, there is going to be another line where you can detach your audio. And it makes it easier for you to edit. If you're somebody that edits like audio, and once I delete it, I can delete all of them and it just comes together again. You can also adjust your audio. So once you like click on the audio and you left click, you can see adjust audio so you can adjust your audio you can increase the volume now you know i told you that the project timeline would change depending on what it is you're doing you can inc increase the volume or reduce it if you want to there are audio channels you can copy from left to right right to left you can fade in fade out you can pitch audio docking equalizer there are so many things you can denoise it if there is a noise you can denoise your audios depending on what it is you want to do you can denoise your audio there's also the voice changer but most of them are actually premium so you have to like make sure that you get that they are all voice changers you know that AI sound kind of audio. Yeah. <laughs> Did I just do that? And then you can increase the speed of your audio or reverse the speed. So you know that that audio that sounds like you're speaking in reverse. You can also like do that with Filmora. And once you're happy with your videos, you're happy with your edit, you're happy with everything. All you have to do is click on the export button. It's just pretty easy. And when you click on the export button, it's going to tell you to like edit your thumbnail. You can either pick from here or you can add an image from your library or your downloads. Somebody like me that's a content creator that always likes, how I say it, thumbnails designed in a different kind of way. You want to add your image from here and then tag to your video figure out where you want to save it. You'll be able to choose your file name. You'll also be able to choose the format that you want the video to be. So let me just select this one first of all. Let me just pick one here. Yeah. Save. You can see my thumbnail is there and you can see add the thumbnail to the beginning of the video. I've done that. Then you can select the format MP4. 
it's up to you. You can choose your resolution. You can set it to custom or you can do 4K depending on what you want to do. You can choose your encoder also. Highlights. There are so many options to choose from device, social media if you want to post directly on YouTube or TikTok or Vimeo. Then DVD if you want to print a DVD video. I, I can't remember the last time I saw that. But yeah, that is it. And then once you click on export, it is easy for you to like export. So this was what I was saying. I'm using the free version so I can show you guys how it works. When you're exporting right now, you would see that it has the watermark. So you export with the watermark. But if you purchase the version, which is like basically four pounds, which I have, yeah, because... This is my free version account. If you purchase it, you get to export videos without the watermark, which I think is pretty good. And that is it, your first video edit in Filmora. And it is really beginner friendly. And once you get the basics down, you can now explore different things like keyframes. You can now explore other features like color grading, face tracking, and so on and so forth. Now, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share with a friend. And let me know in the comments what else you want me to cover next, even when it comes to editing or using Filmora. There's going to be a direct link in the description to show you where to download Filmora from and how to access it. And yeah, let me know if you want me to film more videos like this. And if you've tried Filmora or you will be trying Filmora based on the simple edits I have been able to show you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe and have a great day. Bye.